Hi guys, and so this is the fifth video, and I'm going to talk about, this is going to be short, there's not a lot to talk talk about, uh, it's the displacement, so how we take what we have here, now I'm still working on a problem, but I'm going to give you the general idea of what I did, and maybe you guys can uh, figure it out and we solve this problem together. Now. The, the first thing I do is I bring in the pack geometry here. So it has the point with the name on it. And then I bring ori the original surface geometry that it was made from. On this surface geometry on the window, I compute the tangent vectors. That's with polyframe. So I go first edge and then I go tangent u, tangent v, and that gives me some nice vectors and then I sample it. So what I do is I have each this point because it's quicker to run uh, this sample for each piece here once to sample it and then uh, just transfer the attribute to the respected piece. Now if the window was like really curved you you wouldn't be able to do this. So a uh, simple XYZ disk, this is one of my favorite functions so it samples the geometry and then I use the prim UV with um, the sample position to get the normal, the tan U, and the tan V. Actually, I don't believe I need the normal. Um, and then what I do is basically I transfer that over by the name attribute. So the pack primitive can talk to all these points that have the name on them. They have the equivalent name on them. And so I just get those vectors and I multiply them by a noise. And so I'm doing it by this. There's a little redundancy in here because I was trying to figure something out. So I do it with just this vector noise. So I, I call one function. So if I did that, you know, it'll stay the same. And then so I do noise uv dot x um, times this distance attribute. Now what that distance attribute, that's going to multiply the noise value based on this because I wanted to fix something and this is the thing I was going to actually ask you guys. So as you can see for some reason you know the points move together out here in the center but then out here not so much and we have a little bit of tearing. And I think that's really really odd and I'm not sure why that is. So I just you know fixed it with this with the sampling issue and so it straightens out here and that can be um, adjusted as you can see you, we hit on a distance so from 1 to 2 it fades from 0 to 1 but then again we're getting some tearing at that point so I'm just I'm very interested because I'm using the uh, the world position to do it and the world position values for these guys should be the same now where oh interesting whoops so that's uh, that's it in a nutshell you just sample the tangent vectors and then you add them to the position and then you're done and so you can do many different things with the noise uh, oh that tears it up a little bit too much you might have to investigate what's going on there um, Uh, but there you go. And so that's how you can add some noise to it. Next video we'll talk about the last step. It's very simple. It's going to be very short. And we're going to talk about translation. All right. Thanks for watching. And again, I'll be streaming the uh, on Twitch on Sundays. Uh, I'll try to anyway. And so um, the next one's going to be about per primitive carve, uh, a video I did previously. And the next will be about this in two weeks on, on November, let me check my calendar. On the 22nd will be the glass subdivision, uh, like this file, I'll stream. And then the next, on the 15th, we're going to do a uh, per prim carve. So come on by at twitch.tv slash amelnachuk and you can check that out. Alright, thanks for watching guys.